so in order to send sms email call and uh, make a call and uh, uh, launch the url inside your flutter application make sure you have added the dependency of url launcher inside your pubspec.yaml if you have not done this you can visit to pub.dev and search for url launcher then copy this dependency and make sure you have pasted this dependency inside your pubspec.yaml under the dependency package like this okay so now uh, if you are using your app in above android 11 make sure you have uh, added the queries inside your android manifest.xml so copy this query and then come inside the android and app then main and then android manifest.xml and add this queries above the application tag like this after this if you are using your app inside the ios you need to copy this and then paste it inside your info.plist file after this we are ready to go so to launch the url inside your flutter application you have two ways to do this either you can use external browser to launch the app launch the website or either you can use in-app web view to launch the website so we will see the both ways so first way is to launch the url using the external app so to do this what we, i will do if i will check if launch and then pass the website url that is flutter.dev and make sure you have added the await because it will return the it, will, it is a future function so if it is true then we have successfully launched the website and it returns false then it may happen that user does not have the specific app to load the website okay so when i refresh it and when i click on launch website it will open the chrome for me and then the flutter.dev is being executed so now chrome is loaded and we are on the flutter.dev website so here it is flutter.dev and another method is to load the website by using in-app web view to achieve this what you have to do is to come inside this launch function and then override two properties first is force safari vc and pass false and then force web view and pass true and after this when i hit save and when i click on launch website it will not launch the chrome for me either it will open the in-app browser so let's see so you can see that the chrome is now uh, chrome is not being launched either it opened the web view website inside the same uh, app so when i click back so one demerit you will face you will be facing when you when you are loading the website which has the, which does not have the https connection that for example if i load the website of S, the load the website that start with http and when i open the that uh, url inside my flutter application it will not being to it will not going to be loaded so when you lo launch the website that start with http you will see the error message for the you will see that the U url is not being loaded because it requires the clear users traffic so you need to provide the clear users traffic inside your manifest.xml then you are able to load the http starting url so you have to provide android users clear text traffic equal to true then you are able to load that http connection inside your in app web view or if you don't want to use in app web view or load the external apps or use the external app to load the website then it is not required to add this if you are using external web uh, app to load the website then it is not required to add this inside your android manifest.xml and if you are using in app web view to load the website then it is recommended to use user clear text traffic equal to true and uh, and this will only be done when you are uh, opening the uh, website that start with http okay so let's see how we can send email to the user using our flutter application so for the for sending email to user we need three components first is our email where we want to send the email that is the user email second thing we need the subject of that email and third thing we need is the body of that email so after this we have all three components 
with us that is the user's email email subject and then body and now what i will do i will create a query that i will put inside the launch function so and then it will open the email app for us and after this we will send the email to a specified user so now i will create a query so our query should look like this so inside the query so it should starts with mail to and in at after this i will pass the users of the email user email of the user and then question mark after this i will put and after this and is required and then subject and subject is equals to our yuri dot encode component why it is needed because if you want to use a special character inside the email subject or the body of the subject of or the body of that email then you have to use yuri dot encode component and then pass this subject and same use uh, and same followed by and and the body equal to yuri dot encode component and then pass the body so now our query is ready so now i will check whether it is able to launch that query or not so i will so now i will use can launch function and then pass the query and then if our application is able to launch that query that is our application is able to open the email app for us then i will launch the query so then i will open launch the query for us so now let's check whether it is working or not and if we are unable to launch that query then i will print that unable to launch so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click on send email it will open the email app for us and inside the two there will be the email of the user and then subject of that email and here is the body of the email so in this way you can send email to a specified user so let's see how we can open file inside our flutter application to open the file inside our flutter application any type of file you want so just provide the location of that file like this and after this create a query and then inside the query use file after this pass the path of that file and then our query is ready now we can check whether we are able to launch that query or not so i will use await can launch function and inside this i will pass the query so if it is able to launch that query then i will use i will call launch function and inside this i will pass the query so if it is unable to launch that file then we will show the message that unable unable to open file so let's open the debug console so if when i click on open file it will open that app.java file inside visual studio code because uh, what ui launcher will do it will open the file in a default editor set by the os so or the default file opener set by the os so when i click on open file it will open the app.java inside the visual studio code so let's check so when i click on open file so my file is opened inside the visual studio code like here it is so in this way you can open file inside flutter application so now let's see how we can call using our flutter application to call using our flutter application what we need is the phone number of the caller where where we want to apply the call and then start followed by tell first before the number starts we need to put the tell and then call in. after this we will use can launch function to check whether we are able to launch the query or not if we are able to launch that query then we will launch we will call the launch function and then we will pass the phone number so i will use await here and then same await here so if it is unable to launch that query then i will show unable to make call okay 
so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click on call it will open the dialer for me and there will be the number so in this way you can make call using your flutter application so now let's see how we can send sms to the specific number to do this what we need is the number where we want to send the sms followed by the sms and then colon after this we will use can launch can launch to to can launch function to check whether we are able to launch the query or not and when we are able to launch that query we will use launch function to launch the query and if we are unable to launch that query i will print unable to send sms so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click on send sms button it will open the messages app for me with a number on top and then i will pass type the text here and then i will click send so in this way you can send sms to the uh, to any user using our using flutter application so this is the video for our url launcher so one thing i need to uh, tell you that you can provide whatever you video you want in the comment section please give feedback to a video so we can so we will improve it for you so thanks for watching